Greetings. I am Takur. Welcome, Takur. Thank you very much for coming. I just have come to answer any questions. I did an update last week, and it's pretty much the same. Not much has changed, in my opinion. Uh, things are very similar to where they were. We're still working with weather conditions, and as you have seen, the jet stream is uh, still a little off of, of its normal patterns, but it is getting a little better. The wobble of the earth is getting a little better, and things are starting to calm down a bit. But it will be a while before things are calm. Any questions? All right. Well, yes? I have we have, a question. We have Alex and Leela in the queue. Correct. What? Many people have questions, Taku. Hi, Taku. Uh, is Alexis? Ah, uh, greetings. Greetings. Uh, can you explain, please, and tell us uh, what was the Super Federation and what is the end of Super Federation? Super Federation? Yeah. Yes. Well, to my understanding, and this is, it is one of the larger federations in the uh, connected galaxies. It's not something just from this galaxy. It's, it's something very much larger, more almost on a universal basis. And we are connected with that. But it is such a high and energetic, uh, there, the realms of that are very high, uh, higher than fifth and sixth dimension. And those of us that are lower than that have a hard time becoming uh, attuned to it. Does that make sense to you? Um, mm -hmm. We do get messages and memos, if you will, from there, if you want to call them that. We get information, I'll put it that way, but it's sometimes very cryptic because they speak in a very, uh, a, a way that is higher thought processes. And But we, we have interpreters from the Arcturian Council that can uh, sometimes get the, the correct interpretations. But they are still in existence as far as I know. Uh, so, so it's like music is harmonic messages, right? Yes, exactly. There are messages that come through different kinds of energy fields, different kinds of harmonics, and different kinds of uh, encrypted uh, sources. So it it comes in several different ways, and usually we can decipher one of them. And so most of the information is about universal maintenance and what is happening to keep things safe in the universe, uh, this particular universe, I would say. It is not multiverse information, but it is this universe information. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, Leela has a question. Yes. I have a uh, I have a question. General update about my healing work. What sh what I can improve? How I am doing? And uh, if Bob has any message for me, because I I uh, never. Yeah, that's it. I think that you are doing a very good job. Your healing is working. It's sent out. It's become stronger. Uh, but Bob's message for you. Let me see what he would say. Give me one moment to speak to him. No. Yes, you're not hearing my voice because I can speak to him telepathically. He would say, continue what you were doing. The energy does increase. Uh, the, the greater number of people that you include in your healing circle does help the energy to increase. But at this time, all things are going very well. 
and the energy and healing is much appreciated. Thank you. That's all. God bless you, and I love you, Bob and Takur. Thank you. You are welcome. Ava is next. Hi, Takur. Um, thank you Great. for talking to us. Um, I have a question. Um, my friend David talks a lot about um, political, political situation on this planet, and he talks about so-called Q and Q. his involvement and supposedly as some military person connected to Trump. Is that information correct? He's talking about, what is the name of the person he's talking about? Q. Just one letter, Q. Ah, I understand what he means. The information is uh, mostly correct. There are, but for propaganda reasons, some of the information changes uh, to make it uh, make him happier. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. And um, is the information that that was an Argentinian submarine who tried to pretend to be a Korean warship um, attacking Hawaii? That was like two months ago. Is that correct? Was it Argentinian and? Who is behind that? We are not aware of any Argentinian ships that would uh, that uh, try to attack Hawaii. There was a missile fired from the Korean area that landed far before it reached Hawaii, but uh, yet it was dubbed as a, a sort of an attack on the United States in some ways. But in truth and reality, it fell many hundred miles short of Hawaii. So it was not, um, it really was not an attack. It really was them just uh, doing military testing and things of this nature. Not that they might do that sometime in the future, I do not know. But it, this was not intended to be an attack. And Argentina, uh, as far as I know, did not send a submarine to Hawaii. Okay, so that's just false information because this is one of the things he, he tells me. Okay, thank you so much. I, you're, you're welcome. I, I has anyone ever heard of that? I did. We did not. I did not uh, pick up on that, and have not even heard of any such thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Nashir has a question. Yes. Greetings, Tikur. How are you? Very well. And how are you? Uh, I'm okay. Um, Nivi actually wants me to ask you something. He says, uh, do you have any information about the energy attack that happened on the Earth last week? There is a little information. It came from three different energy sources. The energy attack was brief. It lasted only 10 hours before they were able to contain it. But in the meantime, it was sent to attack uh, higher uh, functioning ascension people. And it was uh, not successful. No one, uh, there was some disorientation with some of these people, but it was. Uh, not successful, no one was really harmed, and things returned to normal rather quickly. Uh, the energy bursts, there were three different kinds of energy beings within it, and they came through a portal. Men in black, and also um, many people from your government were aware of it, and uh, closed up that portal very quickly. And, and then things were contained within, uh, I think, about 10 hours. And do you know they didn't who have a chance? They really didn't have a chance to get their uh, attack off the ground. Do you know who's uh, behind it? Yes, we do. But we are, not, we are not going to say anything at this time. And are they going to be like 
Is there going to be? They a are coming before the councils, and they are all vacuum packed, if you will, and they are all coming before uh, government, uh, the galactic governments. And they will, we will hear their side of the story, or they will hear their side of the story. We will get a memo on it. But at this point, we are not allowed to speak about it because we were part of the cleanup from from our angle, and we are um, not not to speak about it yet. I see. Um, do we have a speculation when things will? Uh, be balanced around here. You said it's it, that stuff still need to put in place, and uh, there's still stuff happening here. Do you have like an estimation of when it's going to be? You know. <laughs> well, let me tell you this: every time we make an estimation, it's wrong. So I would I have been warned not to give too many estimations because. Something always happens to change the estimation or something added or something's taken away. The earth energies and the energies around the earth are change constantly. And so uh, we do have our own thoughts about when things will clear up and things of that nature. But we had that earlier this year in January, and we estimated they would be done by now. So we were wrong. So in order for us to stay in a positive framework with your people, I will not give an estimation because at this point, we really cannot be sure. This is going to be more or less than a year? It, it should not be more than a year, but it should be less. Okay. Thank you very, 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 very much. And much love to you. Much love to you. I'm sorry. Did Alex, did you have a question or no? Did we miss you? I, I don't know if we did or not. Um, Alex? Yes, I, I got the answer. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Any other questions in your room, Jim? I have, a, I have a question. Okay. You must come closer. Thank there you. is a question here, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm just specifically asking, um, within the last two or three days, um, was there any other disruptive energies? There was the leftover energy from the attack. Uh, these are the kind of beings she had. I hope, did everyone hear her question? Yes, we did. She asked about the energies in the last couple of days. There was residual energies left over from the attack, and that is probably what you were sensing. But no, there has no, not been any added energies, but there are residual energies that are still dissipating from the attack. They were very strong energy beings. Fortunately, um, Men in Black and the governments were prepared for this kind of attack. I was surprised to see they had been warned several months ahead by different species that it was possible. And so they were prepared for this particular attack. Um, and um, surprisingly, it went, uh, it was cleared up rather quickly. But like I said, there was some residual energies left over, but they are now under control. Everything is. Okay. Um, there's a there's a couple of questions from the YouTube that I'm just gonna go through really quick if I can. Um, Very well. Can Kenny wants to know about the Reiki class that you're gonna be teaching. She wants to know, or he wants to know, excuse me, is it going to be the same as last one or will there be new symbols? There is one new symbol. Uh, I did I teach the pole ta last time. Yes. Is that uh, there will be a little bit of new stuff, but not. It it will be pretty much uh, the same as the last class, with probably a little bit more information, but not much. Um, we are we want people to get these basic uh, spirals and non-spirals under their belt before we do a next more advanced class. Okay, thank you very much. Um, there's a question from Lynn. 
uh, McCary, she wants to know, uh, are you having to combat or make allowances for the interruptions of Nibiru? She says um, lots of concerns about the intruder. Well, do not be concerned. Uh, I know that there is a lot of people concerned about that, but they are not planning an attack. Their energies are here. Yes, it is true. But um, they are in a different dimension than you. They have not come into the third dimension in their fullness. And so the earth is at this moment safe from them because they are in another dimension. Nibiru is has always been in another dimension and is uh, can change dimensions, of course, because they do have that technology at this time, but they have not done so uh, yet. They have threatened uh, many things, but so far they have not really done anything. But we are keeping an eye, and there are all the councils, all the alliances, that are and all the federations are are there to look after earth and the ascension that is happening and they won't will not allow nibiru to uh interfere with that i know you've heard otherwise and i know that there is uh, those out there channeling uh conspiracy theories about them and some negative things but please uh do try to shed the fear move into a positive thought process and we are uh here to protect and we are here to help uh preventatively now if they were to attack in some way we could not we could not stop them if they if they do do an attack your people would have to stop them because this would be between you and they but we can do a lot of preventative things and to to uh, dissuade them from attacking. Okay, thank you. Um, Brian Sims has a question about his son, Logan. Uh, his son is, Brian's in the chat, so I'm just reading it for you. But he said his son, Logan, is uh, has some marks on his ear, and he wants to know what being made these marks on his ear. One moment, and let me check. What kind of marks are they? Are they scratches? Brian, I, I don't know if he can hear me, but Brian, if All right. If they are scratches, it's reptilian. If they are just round dots, then that is some that is a different being. But uh, Logan is in contact with many different species, but he is um, uh, they are very happy to make contact with him and happy to help him grow in his channeling. He is one of the youngest channelers on the earth, and they are very interested in him because right now his channelings are still primitive, but they're good. In many cases, the truth does get through. So they're probably marking, marking him uh, to let others know that he is uh, a connection to the outer world the reason why they would mark him is because he's very young and some would not be aware that he could can do what he can do do not be worried he is protected and um many are protecting him but uh are these i wish i could ask a question to they him. are they, he, he has confirmed that they're dots on his ear he's they saying. are dots yes Yes, this is something else. Are they painful? Uh, Brian, we, we're going to have to just wait a second because there is a delay. But if he can type quickly, I'll just wait for that. We probably have a 20-second delay. If they are painful, it's something different than, uh, than what I'm saying. But if they are just there and not painful, that is from an alien group, yes. But I want to know if they are painful. Okay, I'm waiting for a response uh, in the chat, but I, I don't see one yet. But, but, but it's also because we have a delay. I, I understand. I'm sorry that I, but I do want to give correct information. I understand. No, he said they're not painful. Then they are from an alien group. Okay, perfect. 
And what I said was correct. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, Chakra, there's a request from Anya for healing um, for her respiratory system. She said she's been sick for the past few weeks and not getting better. She's having a problem with breathing, and she thanks you very much for healing. I'm going to send El Yaha to you. They are great medical beings and have been helping people all over the earth in many, many ways. Uh, where are you located? Uh, I will know. They will know. Hold on. They will connect to her energy. Tell her to stay online, and they will connect, connect to the name. Okay. They will send an infusion, uh, uh, most likely. And we will we will also uh, we'll have Tepeth connect to her as well. Right. And we will see what we can do. Um, just to clarify a little bit more, Brian said that the, uh, the marks on the inside the left ear, it's dots, and they're not painful, just to be clear. Yes, that is from the alien group, and it is to mark him to show that he is special. They, it is an indicator that he can be used as a channel by others. Okay. Um, there's a question from Blue. It, it could have gone to our dragon friend, but since you're here, and it's a probably it's a quite universal question, so I'll ask it. Um, Blue O is saying that um, the energies that... Uh, Oh, let me let me just no excuse me that was the wrong person um i'm talking about mimi clara 75 her question is um she said she was on waking she saw a dragon in her solar plexus last week and then her son bought a notebook with a dragon and then the dragon coming today serendipitously uh she wants to know what what does this mean and, and also for a lot of other people they have cumulative excuse me experiences i'm going to sneeze excuse me, they have cumulative experiences where they think of a dragon, see a dragon, and then a dragon comes to them in a channeling. So what would that mean for the person that that happens to? Well, um, I'm going to say this to and let you know that dragons are good luck for many people. If they think positively about dragons, if they've always been aligned with them in some ways, or are realizing that they are aligned with them in some ways, this is a sign of prosperity or, and good luck. And so this could be just the sign that there are changes coming in their prosperity. That does not necessarily mean money, but in goodwill and uh, good fortune as, as uh, happiness goes. So... Dragons can be a very good luck uh, charm, especially when you see them in threes like that. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's right, threes. Okay. Um, and then the last question is from Pete. He wants to know, is there anything about going on with his star family that you can tell him? Ah, uh, your star family. That I. Uh, do you know them at all? Pete, this you... is Pete Andrew. He's He, he asks about them quite often. He oh, apparently... yes. I yes, they're going to get in touch with you as soon as they can. There's a lot of things going on in their world right now, so bear with them. They are they are busy, but yes, there is a lot going on with that star family. Okay, um, Sheer has a question for you, please. Thank you for the, answering all the questions in the YouTube chat. Oh, you're welcome. <clears throat> So, hello again, Tekar. Greetings. I was wondering if the last infusion that I did, if it was, if it's finished, and when can I move to the next one? I would have to check with Sengi. Just a moment. What was your last infusion? Uh, better not say. Ah, very well. Yes. One moment. Yes, I know what that was. Um, and yes, it is finished. The next one will not start right away. They're going to have to look at that one rather carefully. Do you know what is the next one supposed to be? I'm not even know. Uh, we will let you know. 
but <laughs> we cannot we cannot um do anything else until they do that this one is safe remember this one was an unusual one yeah also i was wondering in galactic council have 100 percent authority over this council and uh, over this uh, galaxy they have authority over the galaxy i wouldn't say a hundred percent but a quite a large percent, of course. There are parts of the galaxy that are not connected with the Galactic Council because they have not become part of the galaxy yet in, in many ways. So therefore, they, if they are not part of the galaxy and they are still primitive and not space-oriented, then they do not rule over those particular, uh, those particular civilizations. But if you are space worthy or aware of the galactic councils and galactic governments, then yes, they do govern over you. So do they govern over the earth? The earth is aware of them, yes. Which means if they will one day have a rule and regulation on the earth, the earth will have yes, to accept they it? Will, they will not have a rule on the earth. They will stay and they will have the same kind of rule as they have now. Uh, if something is uh, disobeyed in the galaxy lawfully, then they will have to go to that council to answer for their crimes. But you see, with Earth, they have their own laws. And with every society and civilization, they have their own laws as well. And some of those are just civil laws for that planet. And so galactic law would not be enforced if it's just a planetary uh, problem. But if it's a galactic problem, then they get involved. I'm meaning that if one day they decide that they have to, have to make certain um, rules and regulation, and could they uphold the Earth to those rules and regulation if they see fit? Yes. Uh, we, there are galactic rules and regulations that the earth must uh, uphold, but there's no danger of them breaking any of them too much because they're not uh, traveling around the galaxy at this time or not interacting with other species uh, in that kind of way. But eventually they will uh, be part of the neighborhood and be part of the galactic uh, uh, councils, they will have representatives there as well. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Sheer, I mean, excuse me, Christine has a question. <laughs> Hello, Takur. Greetings. Um, I have, um, my niece has told me that her uh, fiance's mother is a uh, suffering from cancer she keeps having these different bouts or she recovers then she gets it again and um i've set up a reiki crystal grid for her yes and i was wondering and i i've asked the el yaha to help yes and Re remember this okay uh, they can only help when they accept their the help and most of the time they do the subconscious knows when things are positive or negative. However, yeah. some people out of their fear-based uh, upbringing will refuse even positive help if they are afraid of it, if they don't know where it's coming from. So in this way, we can help as much as we can as long as they accept the help. Remember, they have free will and they can deny it and yes. not accept the infusions or whatever. But if, yes. if they go to her and give her the infusions and she turns it down, that we cannot do anything about that. Okay. I, um, I was asking my niece that also. Um, is it her choice to go through this process or does she uh, uh, want to see a future still on Earth? And she had told me that um, she felt that she um, did want to live, to keep well, going. Well, then perhaps she will accept the help then. 
and let uh, tell her to tell her okay uh, that there is outside help coming so that she can accept it and be healthier okay thank you you're welcome um lila has a question thank you i have Greetings. a great thanks taco i have a strange question do i have interaction with donald trump in astro yes occasionally all right uh because i am not connected to him but i'm connected that's why i was wondering that is true then my so instincts only in astral and he is he connects with many people in astral because uh -huh. he wants to keep a certain decorum in both uh third and fourth dimension does does he trust me that i do not know all right uh, my connection with Hathors, I was a Hathor in Egypt. What did I do? Toning is what the Hathors do. This is their harmonic and uh, they use vibration, tone, music, all kinds of vibrational methods to heal. So you were a healer. That's what the Hathors do. And they have been healers for thousands of years thousands so i was as a heart or not a human you were a healing hathor yes aha uh -huh. so wonderful can i connect to the tuning that the tuning will come through me in this life or is that not what i planned it is not what you planned yeah it is still possible if you yeah. reach a certain vibration all right uh, how is uh, my son on the ship doing? That is the last question. Absolutely wonderful. Is he gr is he pooping in his diapers? Uh, not anymore. Ooh, well, so you do poop in uh, aliens? You do have a uh, diapers and you poop? Of course, there is what? waste in every species. That's so Most interesting. Waste from every species. It I is part of the way things are. Unless you are a pure energy being, you poop. Uh, I wonder what is the smell of the poop in the fourth dimension? It is zone bad, like in the third. I've never <laughs> thought that I would hear that question. I know. You know that I'm crazy. Yes. And I would <laughs> think that it has a more chemical smell here. Ah. So that that is really for those who are scientific, they can go deep into that subject. For well, the science. It's, it's not a spiritual question. That is certainly true. Yeah. So is he already? It's not all spiritual, as you know. Most most humans not even on that level. So yeah. on I the poop level, that. that is the right level. What what we can talk. Uh, I was just how, me too. Uh, is is uh, my son? our son already speaking like words of course what was his first word kawa you see sounds like cow but it does not mean cow what that mean food oh typical typical man already yes. thinking about food wonderful yes. so thank you thank you thank you you're welcome Takara, are there any questions in your room? Any questions in here? Yes. Yes. Okay. Greetings. Yes. Thank you for the healing the other day. You're welcome. What I'm wondering about, because in my meditations, I have not been able to really access past lifelines or past soul incarnations is that part of what that attack was i'm uh, wondering it was attack on yes that it could be part of that yes. all right um it was to stop all kinds of spiritual manifestations which right. that would be yes so uh do not worry that will return yeah no i thought so and ran it by another friend of mine. Yes, that will return, no problem. 
they were not successful in cut, shutting right. off everything. No. All right. And everything will return because the attack was not successful. Thank you. Yes. Um, there's welcome. a question from Liney. She wants to know about, um, she said that she's wondering about the voicemail of some guy called Ty. What does it have to do with the missing Malaysia flight box? The message was in phonetic code and spelled out danger SOS. It is dire for you to evacuate. Be cautious. They are not human. SOS, danger SOS. Do you know anything? And where is this message found? It was it was on the it was a voicemail that a, a guy named Ty received, but it has something to do with the missing Malaysian flight box. That's all that she wrote there. Yes. All right. Yes, they they were uh, abducted. At least the ones that survived were abducted. It did crash, and as it was crashing. They abducted those that were sur still survived. Okay. Um, and uh, this is probably what the message is talking about. But we do not know where those survivors are. They were taken from a great distance. They were taken a great distance away. Okay. Okay. Um, there's a question from Mimi Clara. She's saying she's wondering about the Canadian government and the international development. She says, is their feminist agenda really of the light? Is the prime minister honest or is he taking orders from the cabal? Interesting questions. Well, the, that's a, the, the first question is about the feminist movement. It has a positive beginning. But of course, it took on some negative agendas. And I can't, I don't even want to go into all that, but it started off very positively. Um, the other question is that Trudeau is, uh, does like money and is a, a person that will work toward that. But I can't say that he's evil, but he does uh does uh work in some ways for the cabal don't all politicians <laughs> in, some in some ways yes i i don't it's very hard to answer with a yes or no because that those kind of questions he he very he really believes in what he's doing he really believes in um, that he's helping a lot of things. Uh, this may or may not be true when the people, uh, when the actual outcome reaches the people. So they have their own opinions about it, some negative and some positive. But he is tr doing his best. But yes, in some ways he does work for the cabal. And yes, in some ways... He is um, definitely money oriented. Um, there's a question there's a from question Blue from O, o. o. And I believe yes. that's home run. That. And it says regarding, it's regarding the you speak of, speak of, does someone else have someone else have your because I'm I think I'm, I'm getting I think I'm getting feedback. It might be the YouTube chat, Karen. Okay. All right. Um, it says regarding the energies you speak of. One moment, the, the question just slipped away. I'm so sorry. One second. Uh, okay. One more time. Regarding the energies you speak of, I have a lot of astral recalls of battles and work in lower dimensions and interactions with negative beings. Is this the beings that were sending the energies? And did I clear the beings out? Um, first of all, no. You're thinking of a, a different battle. You are a um, probably a mercenary to some of these battles that are happening on the other side of the galaxy. And, uh, but yes, you did clear out the, what, the energies from the earth area, but you are a super soldier that goes into battle for others. So that is your, your recollections of war. Okay, perfect. And um, there's a question from Sheer. Sheer, do you want to ask your question or no? 
Um, well, people spoke about the cabal and politicians, so obviously I want to ask about uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, Bibi Netanyahu, if he's working with them. I know that he's against George Soros, so that is interesting. And what do you want to know? If he's working for the cabal or against them, because on one hand he's... Yes, um... Uh... Yes, he is working for the cabal, but uh, he cannot not work for the cabal uh, because of his position. Uh, he does not necessarily like that, but it is it is a position that puts him in that membership in some ways. And so there are many people that are members of the cabal that do not agree with everything that the cabal does. And uh, but they are members because of their position and be because of their power sources. Um, there are many things that I could go into, but it's it is not necessary except to, to let you know that he is being targeted in many ways. Yeah, it's very strange that he's very powerful, but all the media is against him and. He goes against George Soros, so is he one of the good guys, is he one of the bad? It's really hard to tell because there's all those of mixed uh, singles around him. Correct. And you're going to find right now that many politicians on your planet will have be giving mixed signals to the entire Earth. Um, Putin does, Trump does, this one does. Uh, the leader of uh, Pakistan, the leader of Thailand, the leader of Egypt. Uh, many of these all give mixed messages. Even England's leaders uh, have given mixed messages. They have pulled out and be have become independent. But yet, that is a mixed message to the world. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. It is the time of mixed messages. It is a time for change and awakening. So there will be a lot of these kinds of things, and they will be, they will cause people to think and change and and bring in new thought processes. And that's what this is all about. And then there will be other events that will even further those uh, changes and uh, thought processes. Thank you. If I, We don't have any questions anymore in our room. Um, if you have any in your room, if not, we're almost at the top of the hour. There is one question here. You must okay. come up. This will be the last question then. Last question. And then my question is, we're working with the Octarian Mirror, M-I-R-R-O-R. -R. Is there any suggestions you can give us that we can work with it to heal the planet more, the creation and lost souls, etc.? You can use it through intention mm -hmm. to help heal, but it is what it is. So uh, the Octorians are very healing in nature. So you may use it uh, in that way as well. It has several different uses. Mm -hmm. So, but remember this, uh, the beings that are Octorians that have created the mirror are healing individuals. And so they can use that for healing. Okay. Oh. So you have brought in the thought process that it can be used for healing and so intended to be used as such. Okay. I will not say what they are actually using it for because there's so many uses but i do not know what the the present use for it is okay. i i have not really been paying much attention to that okay. <laughs> Thank you. you're welcome there are so many things to put your mind on if you listen to channel sessions around your planet there's a thousand different messages coming through and a thousand different ways that people are looking at things. And that is the way that humans are. No one has the same perception. No one has the same 
understanding. And many times people will put their own perception into their channel session and give it a twist, a little twist and change it from a positive to a negative or a negative, try to change it from a negative to a positive. But remember, try to, when you're a channeler, try to keep yourself out of it as much as possible because let the purity of the speaker come through. And if that speaker is negative, that, that uh, message will be purely negative. So be aware of these things and uh, listen to that which uplifts you and not brings you down. And I know there are those of you out there that say, well, I have to listen to the negative because I have to know where I stand. I have to know what's going on. But remember, if you let it affect you, then you are becoming more negative listening to this negative propaganda. Whereas if you listen to the positive, you will be able to break through the negative when it comes anyway. You won't need to be prepared for them because you're already prepared. Does that make sense to you? So prepare yourself with the light instead of with negative information. Because if you prepare with negative information, that brings negative into your, into your positive. But if you only prepare with the positive, you can break through the negative. You can see it for what it is. And you don't have to gather any information. When it happens, you will know exactly what to do because the positive will be guiding you. God will be guiding you. The, those things of, of, of higher elevation will break through the negativity. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so very much. Would someone like to close with a blessing? A blessing. Awesome. Any, all right. Well, there is one here. Awesome. Is there one in our room in the uh, in the group chat? I will bring Jim back first. Hold Perfect. on. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Chakar. It's always lovely, and we love you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.